everybody, it's Ellen of That Chic Mom, and today I want to talk about technology and kids. A really sensitive and difficult topic. People are all over the map on this, you know, whether they give their kid a phone at a very young age, or they say no, and when my kid has a phone, they're only getting a flip phone, or people are really all over. It's a very sensitive topic. So I am more in the cautious school. I did not want my kids having phones. My oldest is in fifth grade and a lot of kids are starting to get phones. But I did start to see a need for her to communicate with us. My kids are really busy. They're in lots of sports and I just can't be there all the time. So there needs to be a way that they can always reach out to me and they don't necessarily have to go and find an adult. They can, great, but I don't ever want my kids to be in a situation where they don't contact me because they were too uncomfortable to ask to use someone's phone. There aren't pay phones anymore. There really aren't even accessible phones at all. So I have been testing for the last three months this little beauty. This is the Gizmo. It is through Verizon and I am in love. I'm beyond in love. This was a loaner. I actually went and purchased this identical one today because I do not want to not have so this. So this is the Gizmo. And as you can see, it's a little watch. Now, you can pre-program phone numbers in it, so there's no dialing involved, and the kid, it's a touchpad, they can call the person. So you can either call via phone, and then they talk on speakerphone, or you can send messages. So the great thing about this is you don't have to worry about your kid misusing the phone. There's just not... There's not that issue with this. There's so many things on this, so there's more things. There's, It is also an activity tracker. It has games. It has other things like that. But really, we only use it for messaging and phone calls. So the way it works is, say they want to send me a message. They can hit that, pick who they want, pick me, mom. They don't have to dial. They can send emojis. There's pre-written type text, or they can record something. The pre-written ones are great. There's yes, no, I love you. Um, when are you picking me up? I'm on my way. I'm at school. Uh, what's up? Things like that. So the standard things that your kid would be texting you are already in there. Otherwise, they can record a message. So when they send this, then it comes to my phone. And it comes in this cool little app that you download and you designate who are caregivers that have access. So in your app, you can locate your child, which this is an amazing feature and it is incredibly, incredibly accurate. When we were up at Snow Trails, I gave my two kids watches. We had two of them while they went on their lessons. When I went to check and see if one of my kids was on the slope or back in the building, they each came up and it showed one in the building and one on the slope. It was that accurate that within the same address, according to Google Maps, it knew exactly where they were. That's incredible to me, especially if you have a concern about where your child is. So there's that, and then you go in here, you can have multiple accounts on here, and you can look at your different, you can see where they are on the map, you can pull up your messaging, or you can call them. In the messaging, I can type, I can send the cute emojis, I can record a message. Um, there's history, there's settings, tells you where they are. You can set up alerts to let you know if their kid is not where they should be if you said they need to be at this address at this time. There are so many incredible things. And the thing is, it's still a phone. It still makes phone calls. This one has up to 10 contacts. We have mom, dad, grandma, aunts, uncles, anyone my kids should ever need to call. And then they have that number if they need to get a hold of her. But they can't message or track her. Only designated caregivers can, and that's through the app. So my husband and I are the only ones that can do that. And yes, while this is a little bit big, it's perfectly fine on my kid's wrist. Even my seven-year-old has worn it. But they also just put it in their bag because my oldest will go to school and then stay at the after school club for a half hour before she goes to basketball practice where she stays for an hour and a half and then someone else picks her up. We put this in her bag, turned off because there's no phones allowed at school, and then she just turns it on and has it after school. I cannot rave enough about this. There are two versions. 
The other version, the PAL-2, does not do as much. It's a lot cheaper. It's better for younger kids. But we just really liked this one and the feature's better. It's $149.99 and then it's $5 a month to add it on. There's a designated phone number. Well, well worth the investment. So if you, like me, do not think your child needs to have a phone per se, but you do want them to have access to get a hold of you and you to get a hold of them, I cannot recommend this enough through Verizon, so check it out.